he appears in heaven for you. We thank God for the past, the finished work of Christ, but the unfinished work of Christ is just as vital to our getting to heaven. He is our advocate, our intercessor, our mediator, our great high priest. But he is also called our forerunner. Now, throughout scripture you read about forerunners. It's still practiced before the president goes to a certain country, he will send an emissary, he'll send some representatives. They represent the president. And the way they are received is the way the president would be received if he was there. And on that basis he can test what kind of a reception he would get. So when David came to the throne and sent some emissaries to Amman Jordan as a to sue for peace, they took them and cut off half their beards, which is the worst thing you can do to a man in the Middle East. That's his manhood, you see. If you cut it all off, that's one thing. But to cut half of it off, he's got to cut the other half off himself. And they shamed them. And David said, you wait in Jericho. And he sent his army down and destroyed Ammon. When the Lord Jesus was about to come into the world, God sent a forerunner. His name was John. And uh, Herod cut his head off. So when Jesus stood before Herod, he didn't say a word. What can you say when your head's cut off? Jesus was saying, in effect, that's the way you treated my forerunner. That's the way you treat me. Not only can I be absolutely sure that I'm going to be in heaven, I can be absolutely sure of the way I will be received when I get there. The Lord's not going to say, oh right, Nicholson, yes, I did save you, didn't I? You'll be received the way your forerunner was received. You know, the Lord Jesus never did a thing for himself. He didn't even go back to heaven for himself. He appears in heaven for you. And when he arrived on shore heaven, you can imagine the the excitement, the joy, the victor of Calvary's Hill, who single-handedly defeated all our foes, is arriving back in heaven. We know how a father receives a prodigal. Imagine how the father receives the son that always believed him. And the son comes home, and the angelic choir's ready, and the band, and he raises his hand and says, well, don't start yet. I'm just the forerunner. The dignitaries are on the way. We won't start till they get here. And for 2,000 years, he's been waiting. He hasn't had his victory celebration yet. Called the marriage supper of the Lamb, it is yet to come, and we won't miss out on it. And so, the way the Lord Jesus was received is the way we'll be received. How was he received? The Father got up off his throne and said, Son, sit here on my throne until I make your enemies your footstool. You know how you'll be received? The Lord Jesus himself will rise from his throne. He won't send an angelic squadron to get you. He himself, the Lord himself, will descend from heaven with a shout, the voice of the archangel. And he will call us together, and he will say to us, sit with me on my throne. It'll take a while to get used to the feel of a crown, won't it? And we shall reign with him, and he shall reign forever and ever.